Welcome back guys, this is day two. Uh, yesterday we got everything we could do. We were waiting on the isolator and the bearings, but Lucas uh, went and picked it up. So now, um, today is the reassemble day and dyno day. That's right, I cannot wait to see what this car makes. I know it's not gonna make crazy power and it's not fully built and everything, but stock numbers, we actually don't know because of the isolator being so bad we didn't take the risk of putting the car on the dyno as much as we want to it's not worth blowing the engine up or having anything happen so we are now going to put the whole car back together we're going to um put the isolator in the bearings in we're going to put the smaller pulley on we are going to put the 103 throttle body on we're going to have the um, brick reinforced also going to do a five inch intake and that's going to be sick so let's uh let's jump in it um let's go check it out look at this job okay so there used to be a lip on this right we've got this all ground down so now it's all ported and the throttle body can go there we got the new isolator here that goes and connects the supercharger through these so these go on just like that the new bearings that go onto this rod that's inside of this snout this part actually right here so these bearings are going to go in there we've got the new pulley that stock that is a smaller pulley and then uh, here's the intake, uh, four inch to five inch, and then we've got to make it go down to here. So let's begin. All right, so isolator, or pulley is on with the BMS special to create more grip. Very nice, we got new bearings, the snout ported that we already talked about, new bearings in the back, and the isolator. In and ready to part. Hey, I think we're now waiting for Danny to reinforce the brick. Old pulley. And there's the old pulley. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look. So here's the old pulley. And I'm probably going to get demonetized for the music in the background, but fuck YouTube, right? Piss off YouTube. Look at that pulley difference. You could probably fit that one over top of the other one. I just don't want to touch it and scratch it. Look at that, crazy difference. And uh, there's the gorilla of the, the club. Gorilla. Cranky mate, there's a wildebeest in the shop. It might be a bear on cocaine. Wilderbeast. It's a Polish cocaine bear. So he got the snout on. Obviously it's raised up still a little bit so he can make sure he gets... It's not raised up at all? Not yet. Oh. You're gonna have to raise it to get no. the bolts in. She's looking very nice. Okay, so as anyone that owns a CTS-V, you know that these need reinforcement. So, here is the reinforcement. And then on this side, see it here. So that prevents any of the the bowing or bursting when you start to add more boost. So we are ready for some boost, boys and girls. All right, quick update. As you can see in the back here, we finally got the rims and tires mounted and balanced so that way we can put them on whenever. So I just put them in the back of the truck. We're gonna head back to BMS and we're going to uh, get ready to finish the car and then put it on the dyno. We're gonna run it on stock tires and then maybe go do some test hits after. Hmm. All right, let's go. 
so. Looks like things are back together. If you notice when you move this, it doesn't have a click. Still got a few things left to do. Brick has been installed. She's ready for some boost. Well, the supercharger is getting put back on. What's a bolt? Tightness, 16, 60? Pardon me? 89 pounds feet of torx. Inch pounds, pound inch. Pound your inch. Pound your inch if you have an inch to pound. That must be nice. I don't have that. I don't have that extra much either. Nope. Mine just hangs there like fucking dead meat. So we got everything back installed. Trey's just tightening up the. No, loosening it? Throttle body. He's got all the supercharger all hooked up and put back together. Looking fresh. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. All right, so we now have to build the intake. So we got the four inch to five inch 90 here, coupler. And Danny's now taking the five inch pipe there. Hey, my dog's done. Okay, so uh, we're at the intake stage, but before the car goes on the dyno, we're actually going to change the spark plugs and the wires just for preliminary maintenance and ensuring we have optimal um, you know, spark and ignition. So we're, Dre is doing that right now and I'm going to show you what Danny's creating for the intake. Danny's fabbing it up over here, building a MAF sensor holder to go on to the intake pipe. Look at this. This is where the brake duct used to be. But now it's got the filter. Excuse the dirty car. John's holding my big pipe. Come on, put it in the hole, John. Where should I five John, you're being beckoned. Stock. Peekaboo! You got it, New belt. Lots of grip. What do you mean it's not the right one? Oh, because it's not the HD one? That one will be coming soon. Why don't you buy the HD one? 
All right. Looks pretty stock, doesn't it? Sure does. Can I have my light back, please? Yep. <laughs> you want to try and fire it if you can? Uh, not yet. Take that off for now. Yep, sure is. So the car is ready and John is doing some button pushing. It's what he does best. Um, so we've got everything on, intakes on, throttle bodies on. Uh, Dre is strapping the car down. Oh, look at that, look at that lighting. So Dre is strapping the car down, getting the fans ready and uh, we're gonna dyno it. So let's go see what kind of numbers this is. Guys, in the comments below, make sure you comment what kind of numbers it'll make uh, with this setup. So let's go see how it does.